Alright guys, and welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Well, Mr. Godot, what's Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, your honor. I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief! Nick, you were right after all! Yeah, I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight! Nah, what the? Hold it! You're wrong! You're wrong, I tell you! I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but actually not right in what I was really trying to say. Oh no, he's not! This can't be happy! The thief, the sneaky audience thief who's been stealing all the treasures. It's me! I'm him! I'm the one you want! I'm the thief, I tell you! So do- Oh my god! Really? Pronounce me guilty! I don't know what kind of a kangaroo court you all think this is, but... The true identity of the thief has already been proven! Please hurry and pass judge- what are you talking about? I already confessed. I am the thief, I tell you. Are you serious? Ron Delight? Hmm, time for some more coffee. Mr. Godot, don't just stand there drinking coffee. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Thief. Yes, yes, sir. If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you're mask to mask, then prove it. That's what it means. Yes, sir, I'll be happy to. He says he'll be happy to, Nick. It's kind of cute. He's 100% committed to his fantasy. Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I know that. I just won't fail. I swear. Okay, then. Talk. We're all listening. Oh, well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. <laughs> Man, this is so idiotic! Master Mask's identity. The truth is, I've been Master Mask all along! I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually Master Mask, can you? His wallet, he dropped his mallet. He, he dropped his wallet at the scene around, um... Wait, it, it, we can prove it easily. His key card, right? I don't have an alibi for the night that Ern was stolen, after all. I donned my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. Look, you can see right there in the photo. That's me. As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and got it turned or torn off. That's all. But your wallet was found in a different location that night, dude. I don't like the direction this <laughs> this trial has taken. Me neither, Judge. Me neither. But this is how every trial goes. At least with me, anyway. Ha! <laughs> got him. You're doing great. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Godot, you're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only going to get one chance to testify, all right? But if you make it through this with flying colors, I, I'll keep my promise, too. I'll make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only true Master Mask. Thanks so much, Mr. Godot. I'll do my best. All right, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid it's time for the cross examination. Ah, <sighs> it's right. Master Mask's identity. All right, the truth is I've been mask ma Master Mask all along. I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually Master Mask, can you? Technically, we could actually. His wallet. We have his wallet. Found in the KB Security Building at around 1 a.m. night of the crime. Should I present this right here? I want to. I want to, but I don't even think that's it. That's not proof. That should just mean his wallet was found at that time around that time, or around that area. Leaves a record when used. Did we ever get that? Did we ever get that data? That key card data? I don't think we ever got it. Let's press him. Um, I thought you were going to be the one to show us the proof. You know that you're the real Master Mask and not just some kind of obsessed fanboy? Hey now, that's not fair! 
Why do I have to do all the hard work anyway? Maybe because you're the one making the outrageous claim for a change? Come on, Nick. You know that Mr. Delight couldn't have committed that crime. You're the one with the fancy law degree. It's time to put it to work already. I need some kind of proof that Ron couldn't possibly be mask to mask. I guess if you had that kind of proof, we wouldn't still be here, would we? For the time being, maybe I just need to shift my strategy. I should try to show that Mr. Delight couldn't have stolen the urn. Anyway, I... I don't have an alibi for the night that the urn was stolen, after all. He does have an alibi, doesn't he? The, his wallet? Or his... The, the wallet doesn't prove anything, though. It just proves that his wallet was found at that time. The key card... If we had the key card data, maybe. If we had the key card data... Uh, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we should, uh, present something here. Uh, I'm gonna present the wallet. Alright, cool. Alright. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Ah! Yes, it does! I had lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. Ah, no, you don't understand. This is an important piece of evidence. Evidence? Mr. Delight. When did you first notice that your wallet was missing? Let's see. I think it was on the night of the crime. But I don't know. But I know I still had it when Desi and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found at approximately 1 a.m. at the KB Security Headquarters. What? Surely you are not serious. Yes, I am serious. This proves that Mr. Delight was in fact at KB Security that night. No! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So if the defendant was at KB Security at 1 o'clock in the morning, then that proves that he was a watertight, he has a watertight alibi. No! Furthermore, considering the distance between Lord Lee Taylor and KB Security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car, according to Larry anyway. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Gavel? Well, Mr. Good... <laughs> Godot? Do you have anything to say? And stop drinking that damn coffee! Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're the one who calls me Thief, Mr. Godot. Alright, I'll try. I'll do it. I will! He's really got Mr. Delight all worked up. Yeah, he's like a kid out of his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I have dropped my wallet at KB Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there and not at the heist. Planted it there. He's really reaching now. Mr. Delight, you probably dropped your wallet when you took it out to use this, didn't you? The key card to KB Security CEO's office. No! Ha! <laughs> that was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. Unfortunately, you've overlooked one small thing. What? Motive, of course. Why would this thing go to KB Security in the middle of the night anyway? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, it looks like you need some more evidence after all. Really? This is stupid! This stupid kid! <laughs> Let's see your evidence. Oh my god, the evidence that shows why Mr. Wright went to KB Security at night. Will we not show the car key? Oh, the black mirror letter, yeah! Ah, if you don't, I'll take that red. Yeah, this is what we gotta present. Blackmail letter for sure. Mr. Delight, I believe you've seen this before, correct? Oh, that's... What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. Blackmail. Yes, basically it says bring $50,000. Huh? That certainly sounds like blackmail, all right. At the time of the theft, Mr. Delight was dealing with the blackmailing himself. In KB Security CEO office, a full half of an hour away from the scene of the crime! Oh. <laughs> no! He's drinking coffee when he gets irritated? Bruh, that's bad for your health. Order! So when the theft of the urn occurred, the defendant was at KB Security. This part of the trial is absolutely fucking nonsense. I'm sorry. It looks like a perfect case for the defense. 
You may see it as a perfect case judge, but to me... Well, let's just say that my Godot Blend 107 oppresses me a lot more. What are you trying to say? You say the thief was being blackmailed by the C CEO of a security company. But did you actually investigate this CEO at all, huh? No, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof? I'm not sure what I think of that. Not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I'm not sure what I think of it myself. You claim that the defendant entered the CEO's office. But you will need at least one witness to corroborate your client, Mr. Butts. We got Butts. I think we're going to have to track down the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Trite? There's someone else who can testify. Larry Butts. This is the person who can testify that the key card was used at 1 a.m. that night. Mr. Butts. Mr. Booty Butts. Cheeks. Mr. Larry Butts. Who is this useless looking young man? <laughs> Damn, Judge. You ain't gotta go in on him like that. He called him a useless looking young man. Damn. You don't remember him, Your Honor? Hmm, not exactly. But just looking at this picture makes the bile start to rise in my throat. Looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. He probably blocked out that memory on purpose. <laughs> anyway, this man was working as a guard at KB Security that night. Oh? The question at hand is this key card. Yep, that's the key card they used in the building I work. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You needed to get into the room and every time you use that card it leaves a record. It tells you exactly who entered the room and when. We don't even have the record for that. Hmm. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. We should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing this key card's data. Why are you spitting out your coffee, dude? My goodness. That was unnecessary. I'm sorry. That entire part we just witnessed was unnecessary. Well, Mr. Goodall, the name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bullard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the keycard data here. So what does it show? Each card key has its own serial number and they leave detailed records of the use. According to this data, this card was used at 1am on the morning of the crime. Okay, key card updated in the court record. But that means it can't be Mr. Delight dressed as Master Mask in this photo. It looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough time to brew a good cup of joe. So then. Ron Delight was clearly in the office of KB Security's CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be masked to mask. Good job! You did it, Nick! Yes! That's enough! I came perilously close to be smirching the record of an innocent young man. Be smirching him with the title of thief. He said that last time. What's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment, but before I do that, do you have any further objections? No, your honor. Hmm. Ah, very well. The courtroom finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight, not guilty. Oh, pop of champagne. Yeah. Woo, confetti, gavel. Court is now adjourned. Finally. Damn, man, that useless. Are you serious? Are you serious at what just happened? <laughs> October 13, 2.24 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 4. Nick, you did it! You were right after all! Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy! Oh, Mr. Light! I knew you could do it! I believed in you all along, Nicky boy! I don't know how I can ever repay you. Aw, oh, shucks! Thanks, Mr. Light! I just know I'm blushing. Congratulations, Mr. Nick. Oh, pearls. 
I've got a bad feeling about this. <gasps> Who is this woman? Oh, she's she's nobody. She's just uh. You're blushing. How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya? You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> yeah, she slapped me. Oh, uh, Pearly. This one is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. <gasps> Mr. Nick. Yes. You're even worse than I thought. <laughs> Going behind the back of your own client. No! You got it all wrong! Oh, I'll never forgive you! Ow! A double slap! Well, anyway, all's well that ends well, right? We got the sacred urn back to, and the thief has been caught. You're so right, and it's all thanks to Nicky Boy here. But actually, it was you, Miss Delight, that brought us the urn back. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It was a short case, but hey, whatever. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. If we won this case, then why does this guy still look so glum? Well, I am the thief. Actually, what's the point now? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. I know that, and I appreciate it, Desi. But the thing is, come on, give the kid some time. He's just got a little touch of blues. You know all about feeling blue, right, amigo? Um, amigo? Mr. Godot, what are you doing here? Oh, come on, I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. That's right, damn it. Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy. <laughs> well, playtime is over. Huh? Early this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was discovered. What? Kane Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? Isn't that the name of the CEO of KB Security? Body? The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. Whoa! 1 a.m. on October 12th. Or <laughs> October 12th? You don't mean... That's right, amigo. At the same time that a cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. So then, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. You figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? Or have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Help me out? What? On October 12th, at 1 o'clock in the morning, Rhonda Light was in the CEO's office, the scene of the murder. After getting the blackmail letter, he must have been imbrued with the with utter rage. What are you saying? Imbrued with rage? Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Oh, you didn't know? Rhonda Light was once an employee of KB Security. He was a, a professional security guard, an employee of KB Security. Looks like the alibi that saved him from being convicted as a thief is going to be the noose that gets him hang. Kind of an anti-alibi. Wow. That's on BS. This was an unblockable setup. He can't be the thief because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No, that's a lie. So you know what, this could have been a super elaborate setup for somebody to set him up and to take the lesser, uh, to take the lesser crime. So I'm thinking Mr. Atme did commit the murder. He committed the murder and then set this guy up to be Master Mask. Oh, but I, I am a thief I tell you. Run to light, you're going back to prison again. This time the charge is much more serious. This time you'll be tried for murder. What? This can't be. This is impossible. I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. You and I aren't through with each other yet. Surely you won't back down from a challenge. You've never been a coward, right? Mr. Nick, is there something personal between you and you two? I returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least, let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy, who the heck is he? He may be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Nick, how could this be happening? Right in front of our very eyes, our client has been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. Ah, Ronnie! Eeyah, eeyah, eeyah. My 
mama, Ia, Ia, uh oh. <laughs> Arrested for murder on the very same day he declared innocent of larceny. What the heck is going to happen next? Find out next time on the next episode of Phoenix Rate Trials and Tribulations.